Blessings my dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel. My name is Antoinette and this is Artist Freestyle. Today I wanted to share this interesting dream that I had with you that the Lord showed me. And this morning I woke up, I was shaken up when I had this dream. I wanted to straight away jump in and give you the dream and then I want to pray together with you for God's people, okay? So uh, this was my dream, it was really short and... Um, in my dream, um, I saw like like there was a big battle going on and a uh, lot of broken buildings and all of that. And I was like kind of washed up on the show, me together with I think few other people. I don't remember seeing everyone, but there was a woman next to me who was also lying down by the show and uh, she had like you know dust and debris you can imagine what a battle would be like all over her face and even over my hands and uh, we both were actually passed out but when the waters came over us we woke up so I woke up and she had this kind of meter in her hand uh, like a meter that measures radiation and um, it kept beeping so it kept beeping and it started to beep faster and faster like the radiation was going higher and higher and it was measuring the radiation around her and within her sort of like she had been affected by it and I started to see these bubbles come out out of the waters and radiation like like it was kind of something nuclear if you if I can say it was like a nuclear kind of uh, explosion that had happened and uh, this meter that probably measures the radiation in the air or whatever started to beep faster and faster and faster and, I, and when I woke up I, I looked at her but you see I was not experiencing any of the pain that she was experiencing. I was simply just there watching what was going on and um, she started to suffer as she had been affected by this radiation and the beeping got faster and faster and faster and I got up from the sand and I woke up okay so this was my dream and I had nuclear so I believe that I don't know who this woman represents I have a vague idea but I'm not going to make any assumptions um, what nation I don't know right so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make any kind of assumptions on that because it's pretty evident already with what's happening all around um, in the Middle East, we know that it's brewing, it's, it's getting worse by the day and I believe that we need to pray against any kind of nuclear invasion, any kind of nuclear probably uh, equipment. I'm going to choose my word wisely because I don't want YouTube to be taking off the video. There are certain words that I'm not allowed to say but um, we need to pray against this against, uh, let me say, nuclear uh, invasions or nuclear uh, clash between nations, especially uh, in the Middle East. We need to pray specifically for God's first son, a, and also for everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. There are a lot of innocent people, children, who always get caught up in the battles and suffer. So we need to pray and I'm coming here, I'm not going to speak longer than this, but bad things are on the way, but also Jesus is on the way. Jesus is coming very soon and I believe that he will protect his church in uh, dark times like this. Okay, so we need to take refuge in the Lord Jesus Christ and if you are an unbeliever, uh, Jesus is the only way, my friend. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Even if you have heard the gospel, I want you to just stay through this and wait until the end while when I pray. I want you to pray together with me. So uh, if um, what I want to say to the unbelievers is that Jesus is the only way with which we can get to heaven because Jesus was sinless. He was God sent in flesh, the Son of God who became flesh who took the penalty of our sins on the cross and the wages of sin is death. We all have sinned. We all have sinned. He took that penalty on the cross. He died, shed his blood 
and he resurrected on the third day. And whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life because his blood washes away our sins. There's an exchange that happens on the cross when Jesus takes our unrighteousness and gives us his righteousness. So if you believe in Jesus, if you repent of your sins, if you confess your sins and never turn back to them, follow after the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved, my friend. And today is a day of salvation. So Jesus resurrected on the third day. He ascended and Jesus is coming back to take us. He is coming back to receive us unto himself in the rapture. So let us pray together. Let us pray together. If you're an unbeliever, Time is running out. Time is running out, my friend. Make that decision today. Now, all of us as a church together, let us pray for peace and protection over God's people. I'm going to be praying Psalm 25. Please stay on this video and pray with me. Okay? Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank and praise you for everyone who switched on this video, who's watching this video, Lord. I pray for your people, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, dark times are coming, Lord, but you are with us. You are the light in us. Help us to shine our light bright, O oh Lord Jesus. And as, uh, as it is written in Psalm 25, the Psalm of David, we pray the same thing to you, Lord. O oh Lord, we give our life to you. We trust in you, our God. Do not let us be disgraced. Do not let our enemies rejoice in our defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced, Lord. But disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Show us the right path, O oh God. Point out the road for us to follow. Lead us by your truth, O oh Father, and teach us, Lord Jesus. For you are a God who saves us. All day long, we put our hope in you, Jesus. Remember, O oh Lord, your compassion and your unfailing love. Remember, Father, which you have shown from long ages past. You have been with us, Lord Jesus, from eternal past. You will also be with us now and forever, Father. Lord, do not remember the rebellious sins of our past, of our youth, Father. Remember us in the light of your unfailing love. For you are merciful, O Lord. Remember us through the eyes of Jesus. Jesus, whose blood washed us from our sins, Father. The Lord, you are good. The Lord is good and does what is right. Yes, Deliver your people, Father, from the horrible things that are coming to this world. Lord, you show us a proper path. You show us the proper path for those who are lost. You find them and you guide them, Lord Jesus. I thank and praise you, Father. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Father, you lead the humble in doing right, teaching them his right way. I thank you, Father. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness. All who keep his covenant and obey his demands. For the honor of your name, O Lord. Forgive our many, many, many sins. Forgive the sins of our nations, O Lord. Even as we are in this prayer together, we represent our nations, Lord. We ask of you to forgive the sins of our nations, O Lord. Who are those who fear the Lord? He will show them the path they should choose. Guide us and lead us, Lord. Everyone who puts their hope in the Lord Jesus will be saved. They will live in prosperity and the children will inherit the land. The Lord is a friend to those who fear Him. He teaches them His covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, our eyes are always on You. For You rescue us from the traps of our enemies. Turn to us and have mercy, O Lord. For we are alone and in deep distress. Our problems go from bad to worse. O oh, save us from them all, Lord Jesus. Feel our pain and see our trouble, O Lord. Forgive all our sins, Lord Jesus. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Lord Jesus. We believe in your cross. We believe in the sacrifice you have made for us. Wash us with your blood and forgive us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on us, Abba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, see how many enemies have how they are viciously, they have surrounded us and they hate us, Lord. Protect us. Rescue our life from them, Father. Do not let us be disgraced. For in you we take refuge, O Lord Jesus. May integrity and honesty protect us. For I put, for we put our hope in you, O Lord. 
Oh God, oh Lord Jesus, ransom Israel from all its troubles, oh Father, and every other nation that has put its trust and hope in you, they shall not be disgraced, Abba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My friends, I, I've come here to ask you to pray for this. Pray that this will not happen. Pray that this nuclear clash will not happen. That God's people will be protected. Let us pray for this. Keep this in your prayer at, at all times. May God be with you. May God bless you. Now more than ever, it's time to store that oil and be the wise virgins. The Lord Jesus is coming very soon. God bless you all.